Many people are nervous of giving an intraperitoneal injection or an injection into the abdomen of the lamb to treat hypothermia. We're going to show you today how to do this very simple and quick treatment that will help you save lambs. So today I'm here with Ailey Corr from SEC Vet New Services and Ailey's going to talk me through the IP injection and how to treat lamb hypothermia. So Ailey, we're here in the north of Scotland and we often have cases of hypothermia. Can you explain what hypothermia is? So hypothermia is a common finding in very young lambs and it can often affect lambs that are very small, perhaps the youngest of triplets, but it can also affect lambs that have been born in really poor weather conditions if they haven't got dried off and lambs that haven't successfully had a feed within the first five hours of life. These lambs have a store of brown fat which they're born with but that runs out often after the first five hours and if they haven't had a feed they often become very very cold and very low in glucose. So how can you tell that the lamb has hypothermia? There are a number of ways that you might become suspicious that a lamb has hypothermia but the main signs would probably be a hunched or tucked up posture, they're often quite lethargic and dull and if they're very severely affected they'll even be comatose. You can use your finger in their mouth to tell whether they feel warm or cold, but this carries a risk of spreading infection. So the best thing to do is to use a thermometer to check their temperature. The temperature should be 39 degrees, is that right? That's right, 39 is what you would expect in a normal lamb. And there are different treatments depending on temperature? That's right, yes. So the steps that we would take when we follow up on a hypothermic lamb would depend on the actual temperature range that the lamb is giving us as well as the age of the lamb and also how dull or alert the lamb appears to be. There's a really useful online tool on our website which people can use to help guide them through the decision making process depending on the temperature and age of the lamb affected. So if the online tool has shown that a lamb would benefit from an IP injection, it's quite a straightforward procedure and we're now going to demonstrate how to do it. Obviously I have a perfectly healthy lamb here <laughs> that's uh, not in any way hypothermic. But can you talk me through how to give the injection? What do I do first? Okay, so this is something that people often feel really quite anxious about doing and I, I understand that but the facts of the matter are that the lambs that require this injection are really likely to die without it so it's really worth building confidence. So nothing to lose? Absolutely nothing to lose, worth okay. having a go. Okay, so what do I do? When you're on your own, it's probably easiest to suspend the lamb on your, on your left if you're right-handed, just like this. And the site that we would give the injection is one inch to the side of the navel and one inch below the navel. Okay. Does it matter which side you go to? No, you can go to whichever side is easier for you depending on whether you're right or left-handed. Once you've identified your site, if there's any obvious contamination or dirt, you can give it a clean with some surgical spirit. Okay. At that stage, you then want to give the injection. Now, the important thing is that we use a bold motion to go through the body wall and that we direct the needle towards the tail head. So in this case, we'd find our spot and we then want to give the injection straight into the abdomen here and then inject the contents of the syringe slowly and then withdraw. And what size of needle do you use? So in this case, we're using a one inch 19 gauge needle and that's perfect for giving this injection your vets would be able to provide you with the right size. So having given the injection, what next? So once you've given the injection, it's now safe to start warming the lamb up. And you can do that using a heat lamp or a warming box if you've got one is ideal, just as you normally would with any other cold lamb. So could you summarise the key messages? I think the three main points would be use a thermometer to establish exactly what you're dealing with when you have got a cold lamb. Use the online tool to help guide you through the steps that you need to take in that case. And if you do need to use the intraperitoneal injection, don't be scared to do it. You've nothing to lose and it can make all the difference.